at another great Florida Library Association conference. Who's excited to be here? I know I am. Um, as always, we're going to learn new tools and tips and tricks to take back to our libraries and incorporate um, into our services and the things we do in the library. Um, great keynote speakers. I'm so excited to be here. Um, the reason I'm here, my name is Sarah Hamill, and the reason I'm here is to um, share with you some stretching and some breathing activities that you can do anytime. You can do them when, if you need something to ground you, I have a grounding breathing exercise. If you need to feel a little energized, you have, you're in the doldrums, you need something to energize, get your energy up, I have something for that. If you just need to let things go, I have some breathing tips for that too. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, go ahead and just bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart and just take some deep breaths. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable. And smile. Most important thing in yoga or anything that's mindful or uh, meditation, it's all about the breath. Um, whenever you're distracted, just come back to your breath. Couple deep breaths. One more. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start with is um, an ex a breathing exercise to ground you, to bring you back to focus. Um, if you are distracted, you're in your email and then you're on a website and then you're helping somebody and you're all over the place and you're not able to focus and get grounded, um, this exercise will help you. It's called alternate uh, nostril breathing. Um, you're gonna use your pointer finger and your middle finger between your um, eyebrows. That's the uh, considered the point of intuition, your third eye, and your thumb is for your right nostril and your ring and your pinky fingers are for your left nostril. So let's start um, just with your fingers at your third eye and just take some deep breaths, maybe send an intention, is there some, a goal that you have? Um, maybe you just wanna send positive energy out into the universe. And just breathe, looking at the third eye with your eyes closed. Okay, so let's get started. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Now block your right nostril with your thumb and breathe in through your left nostril. Hold it at the top and exhale out your left. Block your left and breathe in your neck right. Hold it at the top and breathe out your right. Breathe in your left. Hold. And release it out your right. Breathe in your right. Hold. Release out your left. In your left. Hold. Out your right. In your right. Hold. Out your left. In your left, hold, and then release it out your right. And then let your breath go. Just notice how you feel. Notice if you notice any difference in your body and your in if you're in your ability to focus. And when you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. Um, let's do some sun salutes. Just uh, take a deep breath in. Raise your hands overhead. Lean back a little bit if it's comfortable for you and hands to chest prayer center a couple more and let's do one more okay so our body naturally moves in six different directions we already moved back a little bit um, let's go ahead one another way our body moves is we can twist to the left and to the right um, join me just Twist left and right, 
tap the, your back side of your body, back and forth, back and forth, and just breathe. Most important thing, as I mentioned, is breathing. Try to look over your left and your right shoulders. And let's do it a couple more times. Let's make sure you have room when you're not gonna hit something. I almost hit the wall there. A couple more times. Feels great. And let's come back to center. Let's do some stretching on the sides of our body. Um, right arm up and just stretch. You should feel a nice stretch in your left and your right side of your body. And just breathe. As much as possible, you want to try to keep a straight spine. Okay? You can look down, you can look up towards your hand, whatever feels more comfortable for your neck. That's not the most important thing. Just try to keep a straight spine, your head in line with your shoulders. And just breathe into your side. And then switch sides to the other side. So this is the fourth way, fifth way we can move our body. Side to side. You can twist. You can stretch the sides. You can bend backwards and forwards. So these are the six ways. And then come back up. Let's do a couple more twists because they feel so good after, before and after stretches. Okay, and then um, the other way our body can move, of course, is back. We did this a little bit. And then forward, we can bend forward. Um, you can go all the way down to your toes. If you're sitting in a chair, you can just touch your toes if that's comfortable for you. But you can just go to the level that's good for you. Um, for today, go ahead and keep a straight back. If you can go farther, just keep a straight back and go as far as you can. And you should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings, actually. And then when you're ready, Come on back up and breathe. Okay, so those are some stretches you can do wherever, right? Um, we're in the library stacks, we're at our desk, at the, on the couch. You can do them standing up or sitting down, um, anywhere you are. Okay, um, another breathing exercise I'm gonna give you. So maybe one day you're feeling, oh, I have no energy. Uh, I just don't wanna do anything. We're going to do breath of fire. Breath of fire is not only going to energize you, but it's also going to engage your core. So if you think about when you blow up a balloon, you blow out your mouth and your stomach contracts. We're going to do, it's the same kind of thing, but everything's out of your nose. So we're going to exhale out of our nose and pump our stomach in. And our inhale will happen naturally. Let me just put the screen down so you can see. It just, you can put your hand on your stomach and just, Pump out the breath. If you haven't joined me, go ahead and join me. This is something I did during the pandemic when we had to wash our hands for 20 seconds every time. Um, I started maybe three seconds and I eventually did get up to 20 seconds. So. If you can only do it three times, build your way up. Do a few more. And you're ready, and when you're ready, just take a deep breath. Fill up your belly and let it go. You should immediately feel your core working. It's a great exercise to get your core working. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and stretch our wrists. We are constantly on our devices. Um, reach your one hand straight out in front of you, fingers pointing up. With your other hand, grab your fingers and push them back, pull them back. Be mindful not to go to the point where it's painful. You want to feel a stretch, you want to feel sensation, but never pain. And just breathe into that. Feel your forearm, your wrist. And we'll do the other side. 
the other hand rather. And then we will go ahead and point our hand down and pull back. The other side, the other hand. And try to keep your shoulders relaxed. Mine were going up like this. We need to try to keep them relaxed. And then when you feel complete, just shake out your hands. Maybe do some wrist circles. And let's do a couple shoulder shrugs. Backwards, folder, or shoulder circles. And forward. And then shoulder shrug. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. You can do one at a time. Let's get the energy going. Shake out your hands again. Dance. Do you feel like dancing? Okay, so the final breathing technique I have for you is when you're like fed up. You've had enough and you're just like, oh, I can't do this anymore. This is a great one to make you see, make you um, realize maybe we shouldn't take ourselves so seriously. It's called horse lips. And we all know it. We probably all did it when we were young children. Um, it's simply... <laughs> Join me if you haven't already. <laughs> Maybe make some noise. <laughs> it's hard not to smile after you do this, right? <laughs> One more. Let's take a minute and just breathe and notice how we feel after doing a little bit of stretching, a little bit of special breathing. Maybe close your eyes and just enjoy your sensations in your body. Magic on earth, the power of love is here now, the power of now is here now. Have a fantastic conference. I can't wait to see you all in person. Namaste. Let's take everything we learned from Florida Library Association and apply it in our libraries and make Florida libraries the best they can be. Namaste.